welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina and this week I'm going to be making no bake holiday treats. I really wanted to make this video for people who want it to be festive but don't really have the best level of baking skill. I definitely think it's possible to still ring in the holidays and not have to bake anything. So I have four recipes I will make for you. All the instructions and ingredients will be in the description box. If you like holiday dessert ideas, smash that thumbs up below. And if you'd like more weekly dinner inspiration, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as part of this community. And also make sure that that bell notification is hit as well because that will let you know when I upload my videos so you don't miss any of my fun holiday content. Without further ado, let's make some holiday treats. Place six cups of your rice Chex cereal into a bowl. In a medium bowl, combine one cup of semi-sweet chocolate, half of a cup of peanut butter. Microwave the chocolate mixture for 30 second intervals until melted. Stir until smooth. Pour the chocolate right over your cereal. Carefully coat all of the cereal, but be careful because you don't want to really like crush your cereal. So you want to try to be very gentle. Get this all nice and coated in your chocolate peanut butter mixture. In a gallon size Ziploc bag, we're going to add one cup of powdered sugar, a tablespoon and a half of just some powdered chocolate. You can also use brownie mix. And what I'm going to do first is just mix up the powdered sugar and the chocolate. And then the fun part comes. So we want to try and get this cereal into this bag and not lose our sanity. So we lost some, but not, not terrible. Close this up as best you can. You really want it tight. Now comes the fun part where you can let out all your aggression. We're just gonna incorporate all that powdered sugar onto your checks. All right. So after like a couple minutes, now you can see if we look into our bag, it's all nice and coated. You can always, you know, take a sample just to make sure it's okay. Purely research purposes. I'm just gonna take a baking sheet and some parchment paper, spread out the cereal right onto your parchment paper. And if you wanted it to cool quickly, you can just pop this right into the refrigerator. Just to be forewarned, this is dangerous to have around your house because you will eat the whole thing. And for now, we're just gonna let this cool completely and then we'll add some extra goodies. First thing I'm going to add is just a package of your M&Ms. These are just milk chocolate, and they are the Christmas edition, so as you can see, there's green and red M&Ms in here. Two cups of mini peanut butter cups that I just previously have unwrapped out of their wrappers and just set it into this bowl. Lastly, the one thing we're adding that is not chocolate, <laughs> two cups of pretzels. You have it. We'll just want to place this into an airtight container. So for our next dessert, Oreo bar, 
line your baking sheet with some wax paper. You can also use parchment paper for this as well. Now for the chocolate on here, we're just using some white chocolate. Now we have 24 ounces of white chocolate that we're gonna melt in the microwave 30 second bursts. So this chocolate is looking good. See, it's nice and melted. We want about half of this chocolate to go on the bottom. So we're just gonna spread out the chocolate. So now, I'm gonna take our Oreo thins and put them right on top. Spread the rest of your chocolate right on top. Cover up the Oreos as best you can. also calls for some red uh, candy melts but I didn't have any on hand so I just took some extra white chocolate that I did have on hand and I'm just gonna add some red kind of be generous with this so that we get a real red it's probably gonna look more pink but that is not a problem for me because I love pink so I'm just gonna mix this in We'll just add this kind of in the places I couldn't get the white chocolate and it'll just also add some nice color but I think the reason they said they, the red candy melts is because it will be redder kind of sprizzle this on top and don't worry if this looks bad now we're going to fix it just take like a butter knife and just kind of do a little swirl there. Here we have our nice wonderful Oreo bark. I'm going to put this into the refrigerator so that the chocolate can set and then we will cut it up. Here is our Oreo bark. It's been in the refrigerator probably for a about an hour or so, but you can tell it's like hard now. We have our baking sheet, my paper. We got one cup, two, three, four, five cups of corn flakes. I'm gonna take a medium saucepan and just put it on medium heat. One stick of butter and melt that. 29, 30. Melt up the butter and your marshmallows. You can also do this in the microwave. I just for some reason have always made like Rice Krispie treats and things like that over the stove, so I really wanted to do it this way. But doing it in the microwave is also another option. You do 30 seconds, stir it around until you got it to a smooth consistency. Got all that melted. Now I'm gonna add a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just incorporate that. Add some green food coloring. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now you can see we have a nice green consistency. Pour this green mixture right over the top here. Quarter cup, I'm just gonna spray the inside with some cooking spray. A quarter cup and put it on your baking dish. I'm gonna try and form this into a circle. There. So kind of like that. A little festive 
I'm gonna just sprinkle on some little red um, sprinkles. coconut balls. I'm going to use some vanilla wafers. You want to crush this up into crumbs. Here is our finished product. Uh, coconut, shredded coconut. A third, a cup and a third of coconut in here. We're going to take some pink sprinkles. It's going to take about a little less than a quarter cup. Mix all of this together. So, to our bowl, we're going to add our crumbs. You see any that are like big pieces? You can always just like break them up a little bit. But I think we did pretty good. A cup and a third of the coconut. Sweetened condensed milk, a 114 ounce container. Three teaspoons of your raspberry extract. That's one, two, three. So one teaspoon of rum extract. Just gonna mix all this together. Take our cookie mixture, form it into a ball, and then put it into our coconut sugar mixture here. So it's coated. And then I put some wax paper into this container just so it wouldn't stick. And then we will do the same thing again. All of these recipes came out really delicious, but I would have to say my favorites were the raspberry coconut balls and the reindeer chow or the Chex Mix. The Oreo bark was obviously very good as well. And if you have someone in your life, AKA my best friend who loves Oreos, that is definitely a dessert you wanna try. Um, and as far as the wreaths go, the only thing I didn't like about the recipe is that it was very hard to form it into the wreath shape. <laughs> like, especially as it started to cool, it got harder and harder. So you kind of need to make quick work of it. So those are my two comments that I would say. I think all of these recipes are great options if you're looking for something quick and easy that you don't have to worry about baking. So. If you'd like more weekly dinner inspiration, holiday inspiration, just want to watch me cook, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the bell notification is on. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye everyone!